very blue, but that red head is one tough jiggle. The Max, you shoot the horse. We get him when he come out. We gave him the slip that time, Silver. So fast, mm. redhead. Now we show you what we do to horse thief in this country. What do you mean, horse thief? What I say. The horse you ride, she is mine. Oh, you're a hard loser, huh? You know I won this horse fair and square. In Sycamore, maybe. But here, it is different. Here, we are alone. And I win him back in my own way. Time up, so he not slip away. Hold on there, Porter. You and your men stay where you are. Well, Redhead, what's all the rumpus about? Oh, Joe Pork was just trying to win his horse back. What do you mean, win him back? Well, he had his four of a kind stacked up against my measly pair and... Hey, you ain't counting yourself two, are you? No, Sheriff. I figured the horse, the other one. Oh, <laughs> I see. Well, Portis, you seem to have forgotten my little talk with you, so I'll remind you. This horse belongs to Redhead. And unless you want to get entangled in the law, lay off. Savvy? Sure I savvy, Sheriff. We just played a little joke with him. Little joke, eh? Well, next time, be careful of your joke. Now, vamos. I'm riding on, Sherbert. I must make some arrangements about poor Harper. Go on, Maxwell. I'll attend to your affairs of town. On, boy. Oh, by the way, you didn't have anything in particular to see me about, did you? No, but I just want to remind you again. Keep your eye peeled for porters in this game. Keep them both peeled. <laughs> so long. So long. Here comes the redhead now. I, I think we should give him a job, Father. Didn't want to take a chance on losing that job, Mr. Maxwell, so I trailed you right in. Well, that's up to you. I just heard of your mix with Jim Breen. He's a bad enemy. And coming on top of that trouble with Joe Porty, it's up to you whether you stay or not. You mean I get the job unless I'm too scared to stay? That's the situation exactly. You mark a paid. I'll stay. Johnny! Johnny Snow! Coming right up, Mr. Maxwell. A new hand. See that he and his horse are taken care of. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. It's a great pleasure, cowboy, to take care of anybody that handled that hombre Joe Portis the way you did. Ah, oh, quit your fooling. My name's Red Davison. Mine's Johnny Snow. Come on. Come on, son. You reckon we got all them strays rounded up, Johnny? I reckon so. Hey, Red. How come you're so interested in this breed when you say you don't know him? You're always bringing his name up when we're alone. Oh, I reckon I do, Johnny. But I got a reason. I'll let you in on it. Keep it under your hat. <laughs> Shoot, partner. My hat's right down over my ear. Thanks, Johnny. It started way back in Montana. You know, that's where I come from. This redhead is now with Rancho Del Rose in the... Sure, George. You just leave him to me and Al, your good cousin. We'll fix him for you, won't we, Al? Sure, plenty. Be careful. This fella is quick on the draw. I'm quick myself. 
We'll get him for you. See, see, amigos, it is better you go after him tonight. I don't know whether Breen had anything to do with it or not, but I do know Silent Slade never killed Scotty McKee. It's a funny thing you're running into Slade with Jim Breen that day, and him never letting on to Slade that he knew you. This fella Slade must be an all right hombre, if he's your old bunky red. If you don't mind, I'd like to sit in with you on this game. All right, sit in if you want to, Johnny. But I'm hoping for peace. Oh, sure. But we'll still keep on wearing our guns. That'll be about all out of you, Johnny. Come on, let's rattle our hearts. Diamonds are missing. Missing? What do you mean, missing? They were brought across the border. Tell Hopper from across the day he was killed. So the hijackers must have found out about them and... The hijackers had nothing to do with Del Harper's killing, nor the diamonds. I have no... Oh, well, then who did? They weren't brought on Harper's body. And $50,000 in diamonds can't disappear by themselves. You forget that they was a red-headed cowpuncher found Harper's body. If he didn't get it, Maxwell did. I don't talk like a fool. Maxwell put up half the money for those stones. Besides, he thought it was a legitimate deal. He didn't know we were smuggling them across. That's what he made you think. But he also knew that they're worth $100,000. Maxwell has always been a square shooter. But maybe he did know Harper had the diamonds. Maybe he... No, why hang it all. Maxwell liked Harper too well to kill him. Yeah, but did he like him $100,000 worth? Or that I'd kill him myself. Got to find out. The only way to do that is to get a hold of Maxwell and make him talk. There is only one way to make him talk. What do you mean? Get him to the ranch. Red. Yes, sir. I'd like you to drive Marie into Sycamora and meet the afternoon stage. A school friend of Marie's is coming to visit her. Shall I start right away? Yes. Take the two-seater. There may be some baggage. Yes, sir. All ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Johnny's a nice, clean kid, isn't he? You like him? I like him fine, Miss Maxwell. Why don't you call me Marie? Everyone else does. Sure like to. I'm used to calling first folks by their first name. Nobody ever calls me anything else but Red, except when they're mad at me. That happens quite often. Guess it's my red hair, huh? Get up. Your hair is red, isn't it? Yep, nothing halfway about me. Started out to be red, and red it is. How do you do, Miss McKee? How do you do? Come on, John. Red will take care of the baggage. Yes, ma'am. Oh, John! Red! Jeez, I'm glad to see you. What are you doing here? What I left Sundog to do. Trying to clear Silent of the charge of killing your father. Silent? Oh, Red, where is he? I can't tell you where he's at now, Joan. But there's one thing you must remember. You don't know me. But why? I can't tell you. You've got to believe in me now. <whistles> Go on, quick. Run. Well, come on. What's on your mind, Johnny? Out with it. 
Uh, Jim Breen just rode in. Looks as though he's powerful excited about something. What then? Well, I think Breen and the old man are having a powwow up there in that room where you see the light. Nothing unusual about that, is it? No, I reckon not. Of course, I ain't suggesting that we listen in on anything, but I just saw a long ladder near the house. It would just about reach. Johnny Snow, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for having such an idea. Where's that ladder? Hold the ladder. All right. You say the diamonds were brought across the border without paying duty, smuggled into this country? Exactly, yes. Then you tricked me into a crooked deal. Led me to believe that it was a legitimate transaction. Oh, never mind what you thought. There was no sense in paying out good money to the government when it wasn't necessary. Listen, Breen. I wouldn't have put a mortgage on my ranch to raise the money had I known it was a smuggling scheme. No? Well, get this right now, Maxwell. You're in this as deep as we are. And you'll have a heck of a time proving you're innocent. You're right, I... I can't prove it. Now you're talking sense. I came here to find out what became of the diamond. Who brought the diamonds across the border? Del Harper had them the day he was killed. Del Harper? I don't believe it. No? Well, Del Harper had them, all right. Whether he knew what he was carrying or not doesn't matter. But Wong Ki told me he slipped them through with Harper. And Wong Ki's word was as good as his bond. Why do you say was? Because Wong Ki was killed that same night in a fantan game. Then nobody knows how the diamonds were sent through. All we know is that Harper brought them across. But he didn't have them after he was killed. Good heavens, Breen. You don't think that I... Had... You're not the only one that put up money for this deal. But I, I... And you've got to prove to the rest of us that you didn't get the diamonds. But, but I, I... Well, talking here isn't getting us anywhere. Come along with me to Sycamore and we'll get this thing straightened out. All right. I'll go. Good. We'll start right away. What's up, Red? Tell you later, Johnny. Right now we got a trail bringing the old man into town. I got a hunch that Maxwell's in a jam. Come on, get your bronc saddle. Joe Portis is waiting up there for us. Joe Portis? Sure, he's in on my deal with us. Fine mess you've got me into, Breen. And I thought you were my friend. Oh, never mind that now. Come on. They're taking him upstairs. We better hide out and see what happens. Come on. Come in, Maxwell. Sit down. I'll go down and order up a drink, and then we'll settle down to business. Hey, Art. you boys to wait a few minutes after I go upstairs and then come up. You're going to take someone across the border to the ranch. You understand? Yes, your order, Mr. Breen. All right. Thanks, sir. Here you are, Maxwell. Throw that under your belt. Here's a go. Now look here, Breen. You better go upstairs. About this. This. Now we take him to the lunch and make him talk. We'll make him talk, all right. 
All right, Whitey. Take him down the back stairs and tie him on his horse. I'll be down in a minute. Come on. my ranch and find out where those diamonds are. And then what do we do with Mr. Maxwell, huh? That'll be a nice little job for you. We'll treat him just as he deserves for trying to double-cross us. I got a hunch that drunk as Maxwell. He didn't get that way from drinking liquor. How about another little snort before we start back? And leave him out here alone? My brain would sure be sore. If you're so particular, you stay here and watch him. Come on. You wait here. Watching Maxwell. Come on. Well, where are our horses? Where's Berg? This is Berg's horse. If it isn't Maxwell, it's Berg. What? Fine, smart bunch of dummies you are. This is that redhead's work. Do you understand English? Why, he's not here. Oh, not here, huh? Then I talk to the man. He'll understand. Oh, none of the men are here. They... You'd better go home. Uh, what do you think of this, huh? Great. You can't force yourself into the house this way. Uh, Get out of here. Come on. Hey! Chachi, you freak me! Johnny, you go on in the house and tell Marie we're bringing her father in. She may be a little scared. All right. Someone outside. More of that outfit, I suppose. I'll get them. 